I read a study yesterday. It said that last year, more than half of us actually chose not to take our full vacations from our jobs. Question, don't you think it's crazy that so many of us go into work even when we don't need to be there? Times we could be on the beach buried in sand or traveling the earth. We spend it in the office, traveling from desk to desk, buried in paperwork. See, in this chaotic world, everything goes so fast. We're so busy, seems like everyone's middle name is multitask. But now, now before you go and act all holier than thou, how many extra tabs do you have open on your computer right now? See, we all need time to get away from the race for our family, friends, for the sake of our mental state. Time to rewind, recharge, and reconnect. Not reporting to the office on emails that should be on redirect. Because life, ladies and gentlemen, is all about moments. No one in history has ever been able to hold on to one. Not a single soul. And you never get them back. See? There one goes. No do-over, no rewind, no DVD root menu to skip to a previous scene. Ask yourself, how many trips did you almost take? How many sights have you almost seen? How many moments have you lost thinking about the next one? Thinking that once you get this or get there, maybe that will be the best one. Life has taught me that all we will ever have is now. But let me be perfectly clear. I'm not saying to quit your job. Even though I know you deserve a six-month vacation, twice a year. But how about small steps, short trips, with long dances, no distractions. Spend time with family instead of co-workers. Meditation instead of aggravation. Replace our screensavers with sunrises, palm pilots with palm trees. Jam copy machines with... Man, I really hate jam copy machines. The most precious thing we have in life are moments. Let's make the most of them before they disappear. Let's see the world while we still can and cherish those while they're still here. Because when our lives are almost over, it won't matter how much money we made or hours we worked or times we got employee of the month. What we will look back on are the memories we made, the hours we spent with those we loved and were we father of the month, mother of the year, friend of a lifetime. Holidays should be a time where we go away and come together. From now on, let's take our whole vacation and be fully present, creating memories that will last forever. It is not death most people are afraid of. It is getting to the end of life only to realize that you never truly lived. There was a study done, a hospital study, on 100 elderly people facing death close to their last breath. They were asked to reflect about their life's biggest regret. Nearly all of them said they regretted not the things they did, but the things they didn't do. The risks they never took. The dreams they didn't pursue. I ask you, will your last words be, if only I hit... Hey, you, wake up. Why do you exist? Life is not meant to simply work, wait for the weekend, and pay rent. No, no, I don't know much, but I know this. Every person on this earth has a gift. And I apologize to the black community, but I can no longer pretend. Martin Luther King, that man never had a dream. That dream had him. See, people don't choose dreams. Dreams choose them. So the question I'm getting to is do you have the courage to grab the dream that picked you, that befits you and grips you, or will you let it get away and slip through? You know, I learned a fact about airplanes the other day. Now, this was, this was so surprising, see? I was talking to a pilot, and he told me that many of his passengers think planes are dangerous to fly in. 
But he said, actually, it is a lot more dangerous for a plane to stay on the ground. <laughs> I said, what? Like, how does that sound? Well, he said, he said, because on the ground, the plane starts to rust, malfunction and wear much faster than it ever would if it was in the air. As I walked away, I thought, yeah, makes total sense because planes were built to live in the skies and every person was built to live out the dream they have inside. So it is perhaps the saddest loss to live a life on the ground without ever taking off. See, most of us are afraid of the thief that comes in the night to steal all of our things. But there is a thief in your mind who is after your dreams. His name is Doubt. If you see him, call the cops and keep him away from the kids. Cause he is wanted for murder, for he has killed more dreams than failure ever did. He wears many disguises and like a virus will leave you blinded, divided and turn you into a kinda. See, kinda is lethal. You know what kinda is. It's a lot of kinda people. You kinda want a career change. You kinda want to get straight A's. You kinda want to get in shape. Simple math, no numbers to crunch. If you kinda want something, then you will kinda get the results you want. What is your dream? What ignites that spark? You can't kinda want that. You gotta want it with every part of your whole heart. Will you struggle? Yeah, yeah, you will struggle. No way around it. You will fall many times, but who's counting? Just remember, there's no such thing as a smooth mountain. If you want to make it to the top, then there are sharp ridges that must be stepped over. There will be times you get stressed and things you get depressed over. But let me tell you something. Steven Spielberg was rejected from film school three times. Three times, but he kept going. The television execs fired Oprah, said she wasn't fit for TV, but she kept going. Critics told Beyonce that she couldn't sing. She went through depression, but she kept going. Struggle and criticisms are prerequisites for greatness. That is the law of this universe and no one escapes it. Because pain is life, but you can choose what type. Either the pain on the road to success or the pain of being haunted with regret. You want my advice? Don't think twice. We have been given a gift that we call life. So don't blow it. You were not defined by your past. Instead, you were born anew in each moment. So own it. Now, sometimes you gotta leap and grow your wings on the way down. You better get the shot off before the clock runs out, cause ain't no overtime in life, no do-over. And I know I sound like I'm preaching or speaking with force, but if you don't use your gift, then you sell not only yourself, but the whole world, short. So what invention do you have buried in your mind? What idea, what cure, what skill do you have inside to bring out to this universe? Uni meaning one, verse meaning song. You have a part to play in this song. So grab that microphone and be brave. Sing your heart out on life stage. You cannot go back and make a brand new beginning, but you can start now and make a brand new ending.
let this be another night To tie around my bed at night I know I've lost the fight To erase your face, my mind Awake, I lie here staring out beyond the sky Whoa. 